What up with y'all? It's your boy Money Man Cell. Today, we're going to go back into the world of TikTok. Let's go back into it. How black, educated college men act like they too good to date a lot of... Finally, someone has said it and worded it way better than I ever could have. Because I have been saying this with my best friend for the longest now. To where it's like, if you look a certain way... It's like these men act like they are just like, it's always this certain look of female that they'll actually date and wife because I guess they attribute it to like, oh, nice girl next door looking like she won't possibly do this or that. She looks good on paper. She, I can bring her around family, this and a third. And she has the look. She has a very safe look. And myself and my best friend always talk about the fact that we feel as though because we have tattoos i'm very tatted y'all can't see it now but i have a lot of tattoos because we are tatted and have more of like a i'm not gonna say like i don't i'm trying to find a right but oh look you mad that this educated young black man doesn't want to pick a hooker a woman that dress like a hooker no disrespect what is the girl next door look what does that mean a humble girl a modest looking girl is that what that means how can you shame somebody for that? How far have we fallen in society where this is a talking point? You're really mad that men are picking like regular women to be wives and not the women that be in the fucking hookah lounge and the fucking bars every day? Are you serious? I don't know. Anyway, because we don't have that girl next door look, men consistently try to fun girl us these college educated men it's always them like when it comes to like the they always assume that we like we only like hood guys that they assume that they know our type and they don't even give us a chance because me personally i like college educated men i went to college and that's just what i like i like nerds i like squid fine nerds i like squares anytime a girl says she likes nerds or fine fine nerds whatever the fuck that means you know you're gonna hear the stupidest shit coming out of her mouth ever. I should have known by the crystal and the cross next to each other. I should have known by that. This girl is mad that a young educated man wants a young educated woman. Isn't that something? And there's 9,000 likes, so people are actually agreeing as if she's speaking facts. It, it, it's so funny she's trying to like downplay like the girls like who are in school who are not in the clubs every day i don't know what a girl next door means just a young woman that's not fast like you're trying to shit on them acting like as if they're dull people but you are the person with brightness and light that men should be attracted to you want a wife you know there's a reason they don't want to if i ask a woman do you want to get with this man who's, you know, building his life and is humble and he's a strong man, strong-minded man? Or you want to get with this young boy who's got, who's getting this fast money, who's probably not going to be around in a couple years, probably going to be in jail, you know, no security. Who would you want to be a husband? It's a no-brainer. You're going to want the guy that's educated, that's building his life from the ground up. You're going to want that guy, right? And there should be no backlash from that. Why is it that when a man has the little bit of standards, it's a bad thing? I made a video about this last week where the girl was listing all these crazy standards. And then again, those are her standards. But why is it when men have standards, it's a bad thing? You're complaining about getting fun girled? Stop acting like a fun girl. Stop dressing like a fun girl. Stop going out like a fun girl. And you won't get treated like a fun girl. Simple. That, But these men always assume that my type is like, oh. I see she's tatted. She like hood niggas. That's hood. like, and I'm just like, why do y'all keep doing that? And then not only keep doing that, but then you keep trying to put us in this fun girl category. And the fun girl is this category where it's like, I enjoy having fun with you, but I would never wife you. You don't have the look of somebody that I would consider a wife. And I'm it's duh, duh. It don't get it don't get simpler than that. It don't get simpler than that. You and that guy don't connect. Y'all don't vibe. He don't see you as somebody. He don't see a future with you. Don't get mad. It's his preference. What's wrong with that? Why can't he have free pickings? You the one that's just around, you know, to, to have fun with. To get a little year off. If you know what I mean. 
the other women that he really wants that he's gonna bring back to his mom. The women of stature, like educated men want educated women. Ask yourself this, right? The men that you probably mess with, do they even take you serious? If the answer is no, why the educated man got to take you serious, right? The reason why a lot of these men probably have this notion, oh, you like the bad guys, you like whatever the hood guy is, whatever that is, is because that's what y'all portray. That's what's all over social media. That's what's all over the net. You Girls like you. Girls like you, the fun girls, y'all like the niggas with the fast money. Got a lot of it. And there's nothing wrong with that. We know I'm not shaming you for that, right? But a girl like that, it's going to be hard for you to get with a man the, like the man you're listing. Everybody thinks the same. I'm sorry. How the hood guys, or whatever that means, how they look at you and how these educated men look at you is going to be the exact same thing. No different. You want to attract them. A man of that stature act different, do different things. Okay? I don't know what you do. I don't know what your job like is. I don't know. Maybe I'm coming at you wrong. But from the looks of it so far, like, I don't blame you. I don't blame them. You even having this thought is you're a dumbass. Just you even having this belief that these men should just be coming to you. It, it, it's a stupid belief. It's like, what does a wife look like? Because just because somebody looks like your girl next door does not mean she's a good person. It's not mean that she's automatically educated. Um, me personally, I, in a nice way, I make a lot more than a lot of the girls that they consider like, oh, like. But they can't brag about my job to mom because it's not conventional. It doesn't fit the image. You can't be successful. You can be a successful tattoo artist. Okay, so I looked up where this this girl is a stripper. This woman is a stripper. She's an exotic dancer. Nothing wrong with that. But you're not going to get a man in school, a man trying to build a business that wants a wife. Nobody is wifing you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And if somebody's going to wife you, it's not going to be of a man of that. That's the honest truth, man. You can cry about it. You can get mad about it. But that's the truth. No matter how much progressive stuff they try to do with sex workers or like strippers, you know, nothing against those people. But you have to live with the fact that a lot of men won't accept you to date. And that's fine. That is fine because you're going to find somebody that will. But don't try to guilt trip men and try to make it seem like it's their fault that they don't want to take you serious. There's a reason they don't want to take you serious. You're in the club. You're getting fucking hundreds thrown on you. you you're rubbing against boners all night. Come on, man. Nobody wants to wife that. Imagine you have kids and some man that knew your wife from 20 years back did something with her. And you got to keep keep on keep on dealing with it. That's what you're dealing with when you're dealing with these fun girls. Don't, some, don't get mad because somebody playing the game the right way. Don't hate the player. Hate the game, baby. Come on now. That's how it go. And then the fact that you have to point out that you make more than these women who are in school or, you know, are doing different things or girl next door shows that you're pretty shallow. Like, financial wealth doesn't mean anything, especially if it's a man going after a woman. Usually men don't look at the wealth of the woman to decide if they're going to marry them. They have, they have characteristics, specific characteristics catered to each man, which they look for in a woman to see if that's their wife. And I'm not going to lie. A lot of girls who are working in clubs dancing every night probably don't have a lot of those characteristics. It's the honest truth. So calm down. That's insensitive. That's not insensitive. That's just the, the honest truth. Ask any man, would you want your wife to be a stripper? No, they would not want their wife to be a stripper. It's a fucking no-brainer. You shouldn't be demonized for that, bro. All right? This little rant that she's going on is, is just trying to negate the fucking accountability that she should have for her job. Right? She can't fucking fathom that men don't want to take her in to marry her, but only want to have one night with her. Sucks. I know. Get a new job, maybe. Image. Um, but I don't work a job that is, like, conventional to where it's like, oh, well, I can brag about what kind of job she has. I, you know, it. So they, they just always want to fun girl me. And I am tired of people assuming that I like a certain type of guy and wanting to fun girl me because personally I want a family and commitment and a relationship and all of those things. I want to get married. Um, okay, so why don't you do it with the men that want to wife you? Nobody is saying it's stopping you from 
having kids and becoming a wife. But I'm pretty sure in your heart, in your heart, you know, the men that are going to do that for you, you, you don't really like. And so, therefore, you're trying to guilt trip other men to do it for you. And that's not going to happen. Ever. Ever. All right? There are some standards that are worth keeping, right? Like, I, I made a video last week about, you know, the standards that a girl had. Some standards are, like, bullshit. And some standards are reasonable. Right? Women, like, like bullying men to pay for everything in the book is not, like, really a... It's a dating requirement, I guess. But it's kind of bullshit. Right? All this guy, these guys are probably asking for is a modest woman who they won't be shamed about in public. Is that really bad? Is that really bad? And vice versa. I, I couldn't get mad at a girl if they don't want to date a dude that's been around, around the city. Can you be mad at that? No, you can't. People have different standards. People want higher standards for their husbands and wives. Wow. Is that crazy? No. Uh, that's all for this video, y'all. Uh, that would be all for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, don't be like her, right? Be realistic and be smart. It's your boy, Cell. We out.